But to see these kids who had the least to gain, there wasn't anything to look forward to. They were going to be rewarded for their service in Vietnam. And yet, their infinite patience, their loyalty to each other, their courage under fire uh, was just phenomenal. And you would ask yourself, how, how does America produce young men like this? Well, that's just one of the many compelling clips from a new series in the Vietnam War. The 10-part documentary took Ken Burns and Lynn Novick a decade to make, and it premieres tonight on PBS. Here to talk about it is Jan Scruggs, a Vietnam veteran and also the founder of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund. First of all, Jan, of course, thank you for your service and also your dedication um, to constructing the Vietnam War Memorial, which we have not too far from us here at the National Mall. So thank you so much for that. My pleasure. Um, I want to ask you uh, about this. It's, it's going to be a heavy series, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be a lot to digest. What is your takeaway as we, as we watch it this evening? Ken Burns is really an American treasure. He and Lynn Novick, people get more of their history education from these two people than they do from schools. So. Ken could actually work at Fox because he's fair and balanced. You know, he really I does. Like that. He gives yeah. everyone a chance to give their opinion. The war protester, the North Vietnamese, the Viet Cong, the American, you know, the American soldiers, everyone gets to add their uh, two cents to the series. There are 79 voices in all um, that will be that will be telling their stories throughout throughout the 10 part series. You lived it. I mean, and if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard Ken this morning on a one of the other networks say, you know, you, you fight wars twice. You fight, fight on the b battlefield, and then you fight it in your memories. Um, what, what will we see tonight that perhaps we didn't see before? Uh, you're going to see some uh, Americans doing what we do best, which is uh, uh, we stand up for each other. The, you know, the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese, they will, they will tell you that it was pretty easy to shoot us because we would always go to save our wounded. So you'll see things like that throughout the series, and, and you'll see the, the misery and the suffering of the, of the civilians as well. Uh, it, it's, it, parts of it will be very disturbing, but history is disturbing, and let's, uh, let's deal with it. Are there conversations that need to be ignited, and will this help that? I think the... Uh, the, the Vietnam War did a lot of bad things to this country. It, it really divided us in a very big way. We're still divided, and, and some of these divisions go back to uh, the Vietnam War, the nature of the protests, and so forth. So there are conversations that need to be had by the Congress, uh, by the President. Uh, we are in a military conflict uh, today now in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and so forth, and uh, this is something that we just need to understand what, what we're doing. It's been a labor of love for you, uh, obviously. We, we, look, we can walk down to the National Mall and, and see that firsthand. Um, uh, what, I mean, and we don't, we don't have much time left, and I, I have so many questions that I want to ask you, but what do you want the younger generations to know? I want them to know that one place they should see is the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, a, re a great book which is written on it called A Rift in the Earth by James Reston. Reston. Uh, they should understand uh, and get Vietnam veterans and people who protested the war in Vietnam mm -hmm. to come and talk to their classes. I was just with a naval officer the other day who said, Vietnam War? He's a uh, pilot. He said, I've never really thought about it. So <laughs> we you need should. people to think about it because things like this can be repeated. Well, we thank you for your service, Jan. We thank you for coming today. And we look forward to hearing you as one of the voices in the last part uh, of the documentary. So thank you so much for joining us, sir. My pleasure. Appreciate it.